The Attempts tab will show only students who have attempted the quiz. It will not display users who have not attempted the quiz. You'll need to use the User tab to find out this information. The Attempts tab of the quiz submissions by default displays only those students who have completed an attempt and the attempts that have been graded or ungraded. You can use this tab to search for a specific student and or filter your results, search results on other criteria besides default display. So to view this, go to Submission Review tab on the navbar, click on Quizzes. Click on the context menu next to the quiz name, click on Grade. Click on the Attempts tab. If you want to find a specific student, because maybe you want to look at what attempts they've done, type in the name of the student in the search for and click on the search icon. This will show you a search results, and it's not that there's two students, it's that the student had two attempts on this quiz, which they are allowed three. If you only allow one attempt, then it would only show one result. But this allows you to click into the attempt, allows you to see their grade, and to see what date they completed that. Click on the clear search because my courses will remember your search the next time you come in. Now you can use the restrict to drop down list to filter your search results and choose one of the following. You can choose all attempts and this result will display attempts of students who have submitted or not submitted the quiz. So if I click on the search icon you'll see that I have students that have attempted the quiz. I have students that have some that are graded which means published. Some that aren't published means ungraded and students who have taken the quiz but not submitted it. Again, clear the search results so you can get back to the default. Uh, attempts completed within the 30 days. This result will display attempts that were completed in the last 30 days. So this is a quick way to filter your search results. Again, I click on the search icon and obviously this is in the last 30 days that students have done that. And then you also have uh, attempts completed within 60 days and 90 days, which give you the same results, with, except for that you look at it from 60 days and 90 days. Attempts in progress. So attempts in progress, this will show display results of those attempts of students who have started the quiz but not submitted it. You may want to review the tutorial on this subject to learn more about how you can actually submit the quiz for the student. So again, I click on the search results uh, icon or the, or the search icon and it gives me my results showing me that I have one student that has the attempts in progress. Again, I click on the clear search results and I look at the last item which is preview attempts. The results will display those attempts of those who have used the preview feature of the quiz. Typically, this would be faculty only. Students don't have the rights to preview quizzes. Pre please. Uh, preview the tutorial on about previewing a quiz for more information. When I click on the search icon here, you'll see that there's one a search result and it's the fa demo faculty who took the quiz in the preview mode. Again, clear the search results. Now there's other criteria that you can actually uh, use here. You can use it with the restrict to drop down. Um, and in combination, you have a number of the criteria, and you can use any of these criteria in combination here. So the graded and ungraded attempts, uh, this results will display attempts that have been published means that they're graded. So when you see that checkbox, that means they're graded. When you see the checkbox that says not published, that means they're ungraded. You can then choose a radio button, and again, you can use attempts in the 30 days, attempts in progress, all attempts, whatever you want. But if I do graded attempts and click on the search icon, you'll see right here, this will show me and filter only those students that have graded attempts. If I then clear the results by clear search, and then I choose graded, and again, click on the search icon, ungraded, you'll see that any items that have not been published means that these grades have not been pushed to the gradebook will show up. Again, then you have further uh, responses. You can do the attempt score and then you can choose a criteria here 
uh, an operator, I'll choose greater than, and then you choose a percent, let's just say 70. So I want to look at any students who have attempted, that have been completed, whether they're graded or ungraded, and they got less than a 70. And again, I click on the search icon, and again, it will show me the results of all of those students. There are 10 results. If I want to see who's gotten greater than 70, again, I click on the search icon here, and it will give me those students that have done very well. Again, clear the search results. The last items in here are attempts submitted after. So in this case, you enter a date. And then again, you click on the search icon. And it will give you some results of those that have submitted after the 20th, if that's what you want to see. I mean, in these particular cases, you could have students that are saying, I submitted on this date and it's not showing or so on. And then this gives you ways of filtering that without you having to scroll through a long list of, 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 of um, results. <clears throat> Clear the search results and attempts before. Again, I can choose a date there. Let's just choose the 14th. And I click on the results. And you'll notice that no students had taken it before then. And again, you can use these in combination. I could use these and use these and have a whole slew of different combinations in terms of what I want to filter and search for on the Attempts tab.